In this example problem, we'll balance a redox reaction in basic solution using the half reaction method. Our first step is to identify the oxidation and reduction half reactions. One method to do this is to determine the oxidation states of all of the atoms in the reaction. So we'll show the oxidation states below. For the oxidation half reaction, we want to identify the species whose oxidation state increases. Sulfur goes from 2 minus to 0, so it's in the oxidation half reaction. For the reduction half reaction, manganese oxidation state goes from plus 7 to plus 2. We also have to include the sulfide anion in this half reaction because on the right we have manganese sulfide. First, we'll balance the oxidation half reaction. Since mass is already balanced, we only have to focus on charge. To balance charge, we'll add two electrons to the right, so that the total overall charge on the left is minus two, and the total overall charge on the right is minus two. For the reduction half reaction, our masses are not balanced, so we'll start by balancing mass. The first step is to balance the non-oxygen and hydrogen elements. Manganese and sulfur are both balanced already. The second step is to balance oxygen by adding water. We have four oxygens on the left currently and zero on the right, so we'll add four waters to the right. The next step is to balance hydrogen by adding H+. We have eight hydrogens on the right, so we can add eight hydrogens to the left. Since we're in basic solution, we want to get rid of our H pluses and have OH minuses. We can do this by adding the same number of hydroxide ions to both sides as there are H plus ions. So we'll add eight OH minus ions to both sides. The 8H plus and 8OH minus ions on the left will add together to produce 8 water. Now we have 8 water on the left and 4 water on the right, so we can eliminate 4 waters from both sides. And on the left, we have 4 waters left over. Now that we've balanced mass, we can balance charge. On the left, we have a total charge of 3 minus, and on the right, we have a total charge of 8 minus. To balance charges, we'll have to add 5 electrons to the left side of the equation. Now that we've balanced our oxidation and reduction half reactions, we need to add them together in such a way that the electrons will cancel each other out on both sides. To do this, we'll have to multiply our oxidation half reaction by 5 and our reduction half reaction by 2 so that there will be 10 electrons in both the oxidation and reduction half reactions. When we multiply these equations out and add them together, we'll get what's shown below. We can cancel out anything that shows up on both sides. So that's going to be our 10 electrons. We can also combine our five sulfide ions and two sulfide ions. So our equation, after combining like species and eliminating species that show up on both sides, is shown here. To make sure that we've balanced the redox reaction correctly, we can check to see if charge and mass balance on both sides. We have a charge of negative 16 on both the left and the right, and we have the same number of sulfur, hydrogen, oxygen, and manganese atoms on both sides. So this is our balanced chemical equation.